If you have purse piece, please share with us down below how did you achieve it. Maybe share with us your collection as well. How does the purse piece look like for you? This is actually a tag video that was created by my good friend and co-host Kat L. I will link it down below. The idea behind it is to really think of the luxury items that you feel like you need to really complete your collection. Before we get into it, I want to thank today's video sponsor, Ana Luisa. On my left hand, I have stacked this really, really cute bracelet. This cute bracelet is designed in collaboration with Laura Blair. I don't know her, but I saw this bracelet and I thought it was super, super cute. And the reason why I love it is because it is adjustable. So no problems for tiny, tiny little wrists like mine. It just stays stationary. It has a little gem in the middle here. It's gold plated on brass, I believe. And it's just so, so pretty and such a good statement piece that just stacks so well with your watch or any other jewelry cubes at the end of the bracelet. It's just so well thought out. On this arm, of course, I have my own bracelet, which is the love bracelet in the small size 15 centimeters is what I have on my arm and then I stacked two other bracelets this one you would have seen in a previous haul and you might also recognize this one this one is a collab with uh, Mel in Melbourne love the chain details mixed with the bangle on my ears I have another collaboration her name is either Ami or Amy brass with gold plating and I just love how intricate her design is statement piece at the same time like it's not so in your face but it's bulky enough that you can definitely see it these two necklaces you would have seen before and i got this new one a little pin with crystal details and it is so darn cute as a piece on its own like if you really want to be super dainty but i feel like because it has those stones uh, and it is silver and it is gold plating all of these three pieces are in their fine jewelry line so they are all silver based but gold plated so i even took a quick shower earlier and i didn't even bother removing them this is another pair of earrings that i have been waiting for them to restock because they were out of stock for so long it comes in two sizes i always pick the larger size because i only have one piercing so i always go for the largest size to be the main earrings so i have been waiting for this one to restock they are so popular if you look closely these earrings are so intricate with all the pave stones in the front and they are just so comfortable as little huggies that still stand out definitely check out my link down below Ana Luisa is having their biggest sale of the year which is Black Friday sale it actually already started a couple days ago it's the perfect time to find a gift for your loved ones or for Christmas okay the very very first luxury item that I feel like will complete my collection is none other than the Hermes Birkin 25 I would be happy with any neutrals that I asked for so black gold et teint et tube those 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 are the main colors right those are the main main um, neutral colors that I asked for and in terms of hardware I'm not as picky even though I would love to have it in rose gold or gold hardware but honestly I am just as happy with palladium because as you can see I stack any metal together so yes one of the bags that will uh, I think complete my collection is the Birkin and why well because I wanted it for so long but also because most of my bags are Chanel bags and they're mostly flat bags as well and I love my flat bags and I love my Chanel collection but I also started coveting Hermes in the past couple years not only is it very very different from the rest of my collection um, it is more like a hand held tote um, so I feel like it will work really well with my aesthetic and um, I hope I will love it because it costs a lot of money but like you know it's just one of those things that you've thought about it for a while and it's just one of those things that you hope that it will work out um, but I'm fairly confident because I normally don't really go for larger size bags I always go for the smallest size even with my Chanel collection I always choose smaller size bags anyway the second item which I feel like will really really complete my collection and like I said I will share three a total of three that I feel like are the bare minimum to complete my collection is none other than the most classic of black tweed Chanel jacket basically the classic black jacket that I constantly want to reach for and that I feel like will pretty much go with everything especially if I am wanting to grab one from the retail market which 
is very very expensive with all the price increases lately with Chanel and their ready to wear also has soared in prices uh, quite significantly usually in the ten thousand dollar range which is very very insane to me to buy a piece of clothing for that price but you know this is a tag video right and i'm just speaking from uh, what I think will really complete my luxury collection, especially in the ready to wear. I will have to be open to the idea of buying pre-love, maybe pre-love that is very, very new, like hardly worn, very good condition type of thing. Uh, and if the price is right and the style is right, mostly the style, if the style is right and the price is right and I feel like, okay, it is time to take the plunge and I, I really, really felt strongly about it, then, then yeah. But who knows when, right? Because like I said, it just feels as elusive as those Birkin and Kelly's. <laughs> For my third item, of course, I'm thinking of a Kelly and uh, of course, I'm going to go with the smallest size. And I think 25 is going to be great, but my heart, my heart really tells me like strongly, strongly that the mini size, the 20. I'm an individual who doesn't need much when I go out. Maybe that will change later when there's no more COVID and all that. But um, no, actually, even before that, I'm still very minimal. Of course, I carried a little bit more before, but I think going forward, I'm so used to being so minimal. I don't carry makeup with me. Um, I don't bother with a lot of things that I, I know I can just temporarily miss. So the mini size is just, uh, it's just a size that I just want so much. I feel like aesthetically speaking and even just, um, having enough space for the essential is it's just yeah i can't explain it it's just the it's just the one that i want it's no fun if we just stop here because this is a tag video so we can go a bit further but i will say for the items that i'm going to share following are not as they're not as crucial they will still complete my collection and i will be so happy to add them uh, but if I didn't have them, I can live without them. So this is more a bonus, I guess. So the fourth item that I would love to add to my collection is another Hermes bag. But let's just assume I have the Birkin, I have the Kelly Mini. Now those are pretty serious bags and they're very, very expensive bags. If I were to want to use an Hermes bag that is more everyday and just, you know, just, just for travel maybe, uh, I would want to add one that is sort of still a good size but is very very convenient for traveling so i'm thinking of a lindy in the mini size so yes a lindy 20. i know it's still very very small but it just looks so so cute and uh, a few people have added to their collection lately and it just looks amazing on them so i'm thinking a lindy mini would be a great addition to complete my collection of course but also to add to the handbags that i can use casually when i still want to wear something that's hermes uh, it's not so much about the brand but it's very much about the aesthetic i feel like uh, it's something that i can definitely make use of it will definitely come in handy when i travel another bag and the final bag that i'm gonna add to this list is the hermes picotin 18. A picotin which a lot of you call picotin is more of um um, kind of everyday style that I would love to have around my own city because let's just be real again the Birkins and the Kellys they're very very serious bags of course I will try to use them as much as I could because getting cost per wear is important but there are just times where you just don't need or want to carry those bags so I feel like having that uh, flexibility of a bucket bag that is you know not very logo plastered and just still very classic and easy to match with most of my wardrobe um, so yeah I think that would be a great addition I haven't really talked about fine jewelry or even watches only because I don't currently at least currently feel that it's missing in my collection I know that for most people they covet a watch you know a very high-end watch or another piece of fine jewelry that will really you know complete their collection i'm less so at the moment maybe it's i don't know maybe it's something that comes with more aging i don't know with more maturity but at the moment i still feel very content with my uh fine jewelry that i already own and also my uh collection of costume jewelry i i really love playing with costume jewelry because they do add to um, the dressing they do give that statement when i need it to be so as a wish item that is 
pretty high up there that I would of course feel like it would definitely add to completing my collection is the Bulgari Serpenti Viper bracelet. Maybe most of you would have thought that I would have wanted to add you know to complement the love bracelet maybe the Juste un Clou but that's not the one that I feel very strongly about. Of course I like it it's it's very beautiful and it's very iconic and it's just it's just one of those things that, you know, if you have this, you add that. I do enjoy my love. I enjoy all my rings that I have already. And I really, really enjoy my Hermes rings. They are just so cute in design. And lately I've been favoring the Kelly ring. So truly the one piece that I feel like if I were to add to my left arm, even though it's not so high up on the list, but it would be really, really nice, would be that Bulgari bracelet because it just takes my breath away when I see it. I don't want to say that I'm not a watch person because obviously I'm very much enjoying my digital watch, my Apple Hermes watch. I think it's more so of the fact that I'm so simplistic and minimalist that I didn't ever really feel the need that a watch is necessary, but it is definitely a statement. And from the point of view of completing the most ultimate collection, I feel like having at least one of those high-end watch is that, right? That's that's what it is. That's what this tag video is about. A Rolex would be the ultimate prize for most people. And I do like it a lot. Um, you know, the date just two-tone with diamonds, that would be nice. But for some reason, my heart is so drawn, is very, very drawn to a Cartier watch. Maybe that will change in the future when I actually go and try them on, because as of right now, I don't you know, I'm just imagining. <laughs> but as of right now, I really, really am attracted to the Cartier Panther. Uh, so the Panther de Cartier. That watch just is so stunning. There's something about it that just looks so... It's so classic looking. It's so um, obviously coveted because, you know, Cartier is very, very timeless and iconic. But it's also the look that suits my aesthetic. I'm really, really drawn to the one that is gold, so it's very expensive, all gold with diamonds, oh my gosh, very, very expensive. Please go ahead in the comment section and share with me at least one of the items that you feel like will complete your collection. Of course, don't forget to check out Kat's video and also don't forget to check out Ana Luisa, their sales has started, like I said, the biggest sale of the year. They have so many so cute pieces and they're always adding new styles as well. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back. Not only will you find content like this, all about luxury fashion, but I also do live streams every single week with my partner Kat L. If you want to support us further, you can join our membership where you get exclusive content just for members. Those are super fun, I assure you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.